Combined skin and breathing protection is a common requirement. But is it possible to achieve? We decided to give it a try. In this experiment, four types of protective suits are tested, along with three different respirators. In all cases, a white inner suit is used, so that any leakage through the outer suit will show up clearly. The first test comprises a simple disposable splash suit, combined with a conventional negative pressure filter respirator. In the second test, we use an SE400 positive pressure fan supplied respirator. The SE400 is integrated with a completely sealed suit. The respirator not only supplies air to the user, but also generates a positive air pressure inside the suit. This helps minimize inward leakage. For our third respirator, we use a self-contained breathing apparatus together with an encapsulated gas suit. And lastly, the SE400 fan supplied respirator is used again together with a disposable SE shield military suit made of Tyvek F material. This suit too is inflated by the fan unit, creating a positive pressure inside the suit. It is important to seal all seams with tape according to the manufacturer's instructions. We're ready to start. In the portable test chamber, an aerosol of fluorescein dye is used as a contaminant. The test routine is the same for all suits. The person enters the chamber and performs a set of exercises designed to encourage leakage into the suit. The chamber is sealed and the contaminant released. The body movements are the same for all suits. Each test lasts for a full five minutes. It's been a thorough soaking. Now the test subject is sprayed with lots of water. This simulates decontamination in a real situation. Under UV light, every tiny droplet of the fluorescein dye shines bright yellow. We carefully examine the exterior of each suit. Seams and hems and ceiling flaps are the most likely places where contaminant tends to gather. Even after thorough decontamination, a lot of fluorescein dye remains on the outer suit. But has any dye leaked through the outer suit and onto the inner? Some configurations showed a lot of leakage, particularly around the neck. The seams at the groin and shoulders were also vulnerable. Other combinations, including the Tyvek F suit, showed little or no leakage. What can we gather from all this? If you need a combination of skin and breathing protection, selecting the right equipment is crucial. Sealing out the contaminant is harder than you think. Decontamination after exposure is essential. Even after thorough decontamination, removing the equipment without contaminating the wearer is very difficult. For more information on this test and others, please visit the SEA website.